morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic triple five timer IC operation. Triple five timer. The timer IC triple five is most versatile linear integrated device introduced by Signetix Corporation in early 1970s. Here is a representation of triple five timer. It is basically a monolithic circuit which can be used in missing pulse detector, pulse width modulator, etc. Basic timing circuit. To understand the operation of triple five timer IC, let us study the basic timing concept using RS flip flop. The RS flip flop comprises of set input, reset input, and two outputs available in RS flip flop. They are Q and Q bar. The output Q of the RS flip flop is in high state initially. Now, this output from the RS flip flop drives the base of Q1 into saturation. Here is a transistor Q1. The output Q from the RS flip flop drives Q1 into saturation. The collector terminal of the transistor Q1 is connected to one end of the capacitor. This makes the capacitor voltage zero and the other end of the capacitor is grounded. In this condition, the capacitor cannot be charged. In addition to the RS flip flop circuit, the circuit uses a comparator. The comparator has two inputs. The non inverting input of the comparator is called the threshold voltage, while its inverting input is called control voltage. The resistance R1 and R2 forms a potential divider which maintains control voltage constant at plus 10 volts as the Q output of the RS flip flop is high and transistor Q1 is in saturation the threshold voltage of the comparator is zero now the resistance R1 value is 5 kilo ohms and resistance R2 value is 10 kilo ohms. Now, if we calculate the control voltage, means it is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into V sub C. That is 10 divided by 5 plus 10 into 15. It is plus 10 volts in the constant voltage. That is the control voltage is. Plus 10 volts. Now. now, if the voltage is applied to the reset R input of the flip flop, this drives the transistor Q1 in cutoff region. Due to this, now the capacitor is free to charge and starts charging through resistance R. Thus, the threshold voltage starts increasing when it becomes just greater than plus 10 volts which is the control voltage the comparator output goes high this high signal is driving the set input of the rs flip flop this changes the state of the q back it's high this drives the transistor q1 into saturation which Quickly discharges the capacitor. See, waveforms of basic timing circuit is shown here. Here we are seeing the charging waveform of the capacitor as well as the pulse width. That is, T on value is also indicated in this waveform. The functional block diagram of the triple five timer IC is shown here. 
In this block diagram, we are seeing comparator 1, comparator 2. Comparator 1 is acting as upper comparator and the comparator 2 is acting as a lower comparator. The outputs of this comparator 1 and comparator 2 is connected to flip-flops S and R inputs. We know that the flip-flop is having two outputs. Q output is connected to transistor and Q bar is connected to output power amplifier. In this block diagram, we are also seeing three 5 kilo ohm resistors form potential divider. Due to this, the IC names as triple phi timer. Let us see the pin diagram of triple phi timer. In this triple phi timer, here we are having a notch. To the left of the notch, we are having a dot. And the pin number starts from the dot portion onwards. So, this triple phi timer is a 8 pin IC. It, the pin number 1 comprises of ground pin. Pin number 2 is a trigger input. Pin number 3 is a output. Pin number 4 is a reset. Pin number 5 is a control. Pin number 6 is threshold. Pin number 7 is discharge. And pin number 8 is VCC. In diagram of triple phi timer, pin number 1 ground. All the voltages are measured with respect to this ground terminal. Pin number 2 trigger input. The IC triple phi uses two comparators. The voltage divider consists of three equal resistances. Due to voltage divider, the voltage of the non-inverting terminal of comparator 2 is fixed at VCC by 3. The inverting input of comparator 2, which is compared with VCC by 3, is nothing but trigger input brought out as pin number 2. When the trigger input is slightly less than VCC by 3, the comparator 2 resets the flip-flop. Pin number 3 output. The complementary signal output to Q bar of the flip-flop goes to pin number 3, which is the output. The load can be connected in two ways. One between pin number 3 and the ground while other between pin number 3 and 8. Pin number 4 reset. This is an interrupt to the timing device. When pin number 4 is grounded, it stops the working of device and makes it off. Thus, pin number 4 provides on or future to the IC triple phi. Pin number 5 control voltage input. In most of the applications, external control voltage is not used. This pin is nothing but the inverting input terminal of comparator 1. The voltage divider holds the voltage of this input at 2 into VCC by 3. This is a reference level for comparator 1 with which threshold is compared. If a reference level required is other than 2 VCC by 3, due to this, the variable pulse width output is possible. This is called pulse width modulation, which is possible due to pin number 5, that is a control voltage. Pin number 6 threshold. This is the non-inverting input terminal of comparator 1. The external voltage is supplied to pin number 6. When this voltage is more than 2 VCC by 3, the comparator 1 output goes high. This is given to the set input of Horus flip-flop. Thus, high output of the comparator 1 sets the flip-flop. This makes Q of the flip-flop high and Q bar low. Thus, output of the IC triple phi at pin number 3 goes low.
be number 7 in this charge. This is connected to the collector of the discharge transistor Q1. When the output is high, the Q is low and the transistor Q1 is off. It acts as an open circuit to the external capacitor C to be connected shorting the external capacitor to be connected across it. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.